Okay, here's a quick demo of my very early prototype of my universal resonator. So basically this is an Arduino connected to an OLED screen just for a user interface. And here we have an ADXL345, which is a digital accelerometer. All this stuff is hooked to a few buttons for interaction. And over here we have a transistor acting as a really dirty uh, amplifier for 12 volts and higher current that goes to the speaker here, which I remove the cone because we're not interested in sound, just the vibrations. And to maximize the vibrations, the vibrations, we have this uh, weight here, which is, I think it's a brass cylinder. Anyway, what this does here basically, and let's just reset here so the clock is uh, to zero. What we have here are several options. I can find frequencies, I can resonate at those frequencies after I found them, and I have a, an option here to manually vibrate at a specific frequency, which I can set up to a few uh, hundreds of hertz. And the view spectrum option lets me see what the lazy discrete Fourier transform algorithm that I developed is detecting from the data of the Z acceleration uh, the accelerometer is sending to the Arduino. So I'm going to go here for view spectrum and the screen fades on top there. I'm not sure if it's showing up on the video, but there's a F0 equals zero Hertz. Uh, F0 is going to be like the largest uh, frequency that it currently has in the spectrum. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to punch the table or, or nudge it like this, just touching it lightly. This is going to set up the table, this, uh, table part here vibrating and it has a se several specific fre frequencies that it likes to vibrate on. Uh, so what I'm trying to do here is I'm using this algorithm to detect uh, which frequencies the table likes to vibrate on and then I'm going to generate those frequencies to see the table vibrating. So that's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go again on to the view spectrum setting and now what I'm going to do is just tap it. You can see there, there's a, a very easy to distinguish peak over there, see? That one is our resonant frequency. You can see that it consistently finds that frequency in the spectrum. There's a little bit of other frequencies around, but that one is clearly the most resonant one. So let's see if I can get a really nice peak of it. There you go, it says 14 hertz. So now we go back here to the vibrate option and it starts at 50 and I'm going to put my speaker down on the table now because before uh, it could be picking up the frequencies of the, the actual structure here and the weight and I don't want that. So now I'm going to lower the frequency down to 14 hertz which is what we found. Let's go to around here, the frequency is going to be. Um, so let's try 13. Yeah, that seems to be it. 12, 13. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys are seeing uh, this motion you're seeing is actually the vibration of the whole table. I'm going to try to be as steady as possible here. You can see that the table is vibrating quite a bit. Let's put it on 13 hertz now. 13.85 and the vibration is a little bit higher in amplitude. So we successfully found the uh, resonant frequency of the table using this method. So what I'm going to do now um, in the future is I'm going to probably build a, my own uh, speaker actuator here from scratch, which is going to be stronger and requ require less uh, current. And I probably package this in something that's uh, easier to handle.
Alright, thanks for watching.